Hey my dudes, welcome back to another video. Um, so today we are finally going to continue with the whole winter build series. I do apologize for prolonging the whole uh, winter build series. Um, and then also at the end of this video, I am going to um, elaborate more on the whole uh, police situation. Where we did get pulled over in the video with Mr. Lightlet. Uh, so please do stay tuned for that. And then, um, like I did mention, we are continuing with the Winter Build series. What I do have planned for today is obviously to change um, the front bumper and the mirrors, which you guys have already seen. I'll just add that in the end of the video. However, I am going to start off um, with actually changing the rear bumper which does have a rear fog light in as well. I do however have to take that out of storage. Um, and then just a little um, garage update. Let me just show you guys what we have done. So um, we did manage to actually paint uh, the flooring over here as well as the walls over here. I did also kind of change uh, the roof because of um, the rain. Try to actually waterproof it so it is a little bit better but there is still improvements that need to be done um, Michael is also busy with his car I think he's spraying his um, wind deflectors like this so we'll just make a turn by him as well okay guys so I just walked over to Michael's house uh, he is busy spraying his wind deflectors these are the ones that you can find at Chinatown you guys can see there's um, this uh, checkered flag style however we're just going to eliminate that by spraying it black so it looks a little bit better if you guys do know anyone selling uh, the rear um, wind deflectors we are looking for a set so it actually goes um, with the front ones as well So we just returned um, from my kick. Um, we are going to do the rear bumper. This rear bumper is going to be removed. Um, just something I forgot to actually mention. Um, I am going to use this little hole over here just to add um, a few stickers on. I think um, I was later to give a sticker. So mainly um, guys that I do video collabs with, I'll maybe add um, a sticker on this wall over here or maybe sponsors, etc. Um, so yeah, that is what I do have planned um, So yeah, let's get started idea guys what I think I do still have over here I think this is my seats and then this is also an OEM EG9 um, SRR front lip over here however I do have another storage place as well okay guys this is also where I have been storing um, my OEM EG8 front bumper in the meanwhile 
Um, I am going to remove it now because obviously we will be fitting this onto the car as well. Then the late late video is busy finishing up. Once it is finished, um, we are going to upload it as well. Okay guys, this is my EG8 uh, rear OEM bumper. This is also uh, my rear fog light. As you guys can see, it does have a Stanley stamp on it as well. I think um, the guys in Malaysia mainly use um, these rear fog lights. I also had um, the spoon cane on it. I just put a little uh, red kofia on it just to make mine a little different. This also does reflect. Um, the bumper is extremely dirty. I'm just going to wipe it off in the meanwhile. And then once everything is done, I'll eventually uh, wash the car out. Uh, I must say, I did miss these rear um, mud guards. They're actually humongous. I actually like the way they look. Uh, so I can't actually wait to fit them. And then obviously, um, let me just check. The wiring is still here for me to set up uh, the rear fog light. Some people set it up on a brake, which I'm actually not a fan of. Um, I do want to actually get a switch for it, but mine does work with the parks. And then just a little something um, that I do need to fix, which actually happened when we did the video shoot um, with Bad Productions. I think this happened, I think I drove into a pothole. So this just basically clipped here. I'm just going to have to fix this um, once I remove the bumper. So. Uh, I'm just going to clean up the rear bumper and then we can have it fitted. Also, uh, before I do continue, there is a few knocks over here um, on this bumper. Be in mind, this is the original spray coat from the original owner, which was obviously the first owner. So there is a few knocks on it. This, however, I think could have happened um, during being stored or something to that effect. This is just a quick comparison. This is um, the EG8 uh, rear bumper with the rear fog light, and then this is um, what I would call my track bumper. Um, as you guys can see, I just cut the bottom off, up, as well as put the rear diffuser and added some mesh as well, just to give it a whole different look. Uh, so that is a short comparison of the two different bumpers. I will be fitting this one onto the car right now. And then also guys, if you are wondering um, how I'm able to actually remove um, this rear bootlet, um, there is a step-by-step -step video on how I actually did that. Uh, please do stay tuned for that as well, because I actually did kind of mess up over here. And it's also why it does say to be continued. That is something that I am going to fix in future. Uh, so please do stay tuned for that as well. Hey 
guys, I kind of forgot about the rear fog light that needed to be fitted. Um, these wiring were actually underneath here. Luckily, I just used the flat um, to remove them out of here. Otherwise, I'd actually have to remove this whole thing over here. So I just basically have to wire this up to the rear fog light and then we can put the bumper. Okay guys, so if we move to the rear of the car, you can see that uh, the box is shining. And then if we move just a little lower, you'll see that the rear fog light is shining as well. Um, I just need to wire this up over here and then we can put the rear bumper. Okay guys, so this is um, what the bumper does look like, it's not working. Okay guys, so I came up with a little bit of a problem. Um, the fog light all of a sudden does not want to go on. So, um, just off camera I'm going to try to fix it basically. It does seem like the bulb is okay. Uh, must be the wiring. So I'm just going to uh, figure that out quickly. Okay guys, so I'm still struggling with actually... Uh, getting the light to work I'm going to remove this light now I might just uh, redo the wiring completely Okay guys, so after a lot of struggling, I figured out that it was actually the bulb that needed to be replaced. However, I am actually happy that I did change up the wiring because the wiring was extremely horrible. Um, so I'm just going to get another bulb because I'm currently using my indicated bulb. And then I'm just going to take this up and then we can refit the rear fog light again. Okay guys, so I just returned from the local parts store. I ended up getting uh, these LED bulbs as well. However, the LED bulbs are going to be for my reverse lights. Um, I do, however, want to use normal bulbs in my rear fog light, so it does actually match the same as the actual box, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I'm going to fit these bulbs, and then we can fit the rear bumper finally. Okay guys, so just another thing that I actually picked up um, while doing this, um, whenever I unscrewed the actual light, these actually fell off, so I just glued them back onto its place, so that will make it easier for me to actually replace the bulb in future, because then I can just put this in and it will screw in without these actually falling off all the time. Okay guys, this is what um, the EG8 rear bumper with the fog light looks like on the car and I also managed to fit the LEDs in the reverse light. Like I mentioned, 
early on I did not want to fit um, LED in the rear fog light because um, it does not actually match um, the actual fog light so that is the reason for that um, I don't think I'm able to actually fit the front bumper today um, so what I am going to do however is just to see how far Michael got with these wind deflectors um, and if you guys do like the content that I have brought out today please do give this video a thumbs up it does help a lot with the video as well hey guys this is um, the side visors or the wind deflectors actually came out pretty good I must say watching this uh, you made it to the end of this video um, so like promised uh, I am going to elaborate a little bit more on the whole cop situation so just to start off um, from the beginning um, as you guys know we did the tire lettering um, you have a mouse uh, and then we were all kind of getting hungry and then uh, we wanted to grab a bite however because of the whole ride situation, um, the road was blocked off and we were basically forced um, to drive onto the highway. So as we were driving on the, hi on the highway, um, myself and um, Jody were obviously trying to pace each other's speed um, so we can create um, some good rolling shots. Um, however, we were kind of keeping up uh, the traffic and then the traffic actually ended up being uh, a policeman anyway so the policeman basically put on his lights uh, for Jody to move out of the way um, however he then saw my car and drove straight towards me and pulled me off specifically we both then pulled over and then we got out um, the one cop um, was kind of quiet didn't really say anything the other cop was really being persistent and insisting on having my car impounded i tried to explain to him the whole situation um, what we're actually doing on the highway and why we're driving so slow he didn't really want to hear me out and um, he just insisted that the car um, gets impounded so i'm not too clear on exactly the whole situation um, but to my understanding is if you a policeman um, you are not actually allowed to give out fines or actually take uh, um, someone's license the license this however um, they can then call uh, Metro Police or law enforcement or they can escort us to the traffic department and then obviously take the matter further um, this however did not happen um, 
I spoke to the cop that was kind of keeping quiet. Um, I actually noticed um, him with his mask actually. Um, he's actually a friend of mine's brother. Um, so I did speak to him and I explained to him the whole situation and the whole reason why we were actually driving so slow on the road. Uh, they assumed that we were about to launch and actually race and I explained to them that that was not actually um, the case. So they did end up um, leaving us or letting us go. Um, so to my understanding or to what I think actually happened is because of the whole riot situation as well, they actually did not have time for uh, actually escorting us to a traffic department or waiting for another traffic um, officer to come because um, of the whole riot situation. So I would say that, um, how can I say, uh, the whole situation actually played in our favor and it actually allowed us to get away with that. Um, so yeah, that is that whole situation. And I just want to apologize for not being able to actually finish uh, off um, the front bumper as well as the mirrors. I do plan on doing that in a future video as well. Um, so time actually did catch up to me because of the whole rear fog lights um, power that actually fused. So that is the reason for that. So yeah, however guys, if you are um, happy with what we have done to the EG today, please do give this video a thumbs up, it does help with the algorithm and my video. Um, then if you are actually not subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Um, and then I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.